this moment I'm reflecting on the interaction of Sujata and the Buddha. The moment the Buddha was was in God, what would you say, a physical depletion emotionally, physically, his energy, everything was so depleted. But then here you have Sujata, regular individual civilian who took compassion. And it's like, who's aware of their Buddha nature at that moment? was enlightenment, was always present, always there for everyone. We, as Buddhists, reflect on that moment of Buddha's enlightenment over 2,500 years ago. But then here, Sujata, was there at the moment when he experienced or became aware of the middle way. Moments like that just makes you reflect that there has always been in existence, awareness, awareness of being present and compassionate to those in need, even the Buddha or Prince Siddhartha at the time, and when is it that we ourselves can say we are in need. And can we our own selves tend and be like Sujata? Attending to our practice and discovering our Buddha nature. So there's many moments in the life of the Buddha that you could reflect on and apply it to your own life in your daily activity. It's nice to set a time aside for meditation, but also a time of work meditation, but it's in your everyday activity to have the consciousness or the awareness that to practice awareness, being present in what you're doing or interacting with others. Not so much when you're alone being present just to existence but when you're with others, being present to the other. And by doing so, you're not thinking of self, you're thinking of the other. So at any times when you can practice of not thinking of self so much, is in the practice of mindfulness. So that was my sharing for Steve. What is it you would like to ask? Somebody. 
Steve is asking, how do I help others without taking on their burden? In any burden. Any burden. How could I do that? Is there, a, or, or do you? And why would you take upon other people's burden? No, no. Uh, listening to somebody's problem. Listening to burden? listening to people's problems. Mm -hmm. If it's a is it problematic when you're in um, no open consciousness. No, well, you have it. clarity, first of all, when you're listening to somebody who's presenting to you their personal struggle or issue they may have, which you're calling at the moment burden or no, no. struggle or... It's hard to listen to other people's problems. A lot of times people say, I'm not a psychologist. But yes, a and so um, <laughs> when you're listening to others, um, Majority of the time, the individual is answering what they need. Mm -hmm. If you just sit and listen, because that's right. what it is, you're, when you're present to someone and just listening, majority of people just like for you to sit with them and to listen. And they don't even hear as they're presenting what they're presenting to the individual who is listening. Uh, majority of the time, they don't hear themselves answering their, own question. their solution of the circumstance. Uh, it, uh, and so, so by listening, uh, you'll have clarity. Um, awareness, uh, clarity. All of that, yeah. But, uh, So, uh, when you take upon, I guess, what you're expressing, uh, the individual who's being a friend, or being a counselor, or being a therapist, whatever, being a hairdresser, <laughs> being a hairdresser for so many years, I, um, yes, I've heard many... Uh, uh, many people have shared, you know, at times of being very low, like nobody's hearing them, nobody's seeing them. A lot of people, I have friends who just say they're providing for their family and they're not loved. Sometimes uh, I have experienced where you're so in love that what you are doing is expression of love, providing for your family, for your wife, husband, spouse, partner. Um, that is unconditional love. It's always doing for the other. But it is nice. Let's take the veil off of being selfish of saying, well, yes, this is, what would you say, uh, reciprocated, or what is it when you, you're not looking for anything in return. Seeing the smile and the joy, the person feeling comfortable or secure in the household, that is, should be the reward. I ask just because you, that must be part of your job, actually. You must be part counselor regularly. Yeah, Steve is uh, mentioning that um, that is part of my job of being somewhat a counselor to so not, you just choose to help clients and you put more into your work than just being a hairstylist. You are you're saying I'm doing more than just, I, yeah. Right. So Steve is saying that um, uh, that I'm more than just a hairdresser. I'm there just I'm there to listen and give advice. Yeah, so many people um, close off to that. There's the open awareness. There's the light. You get run down. 
Well, it's an occupation I fell into at a very early age in high school. And it's something that is just uh, an extension of me. Not so much being creative, the art side of it, but it's there always to be present to people. Um, and I'm so grateful that I'm able, that people trust me. It's hands-on, you know, it's a physical uh, uh, occupation. Way. And, uh, people. and so in the very beginning, hearing uh, people's lifestyles or their, their choices in life, um, you just have to listen. You don't really have to have an opinion. You just listen. And then there's times when, yes, well, you know, you need to slow it down. Um, maybe their behavior is self-destructive. And maybe just seeing them on the other side of the coin of their life in their relationships. Um, how would their loved one or spouse um, uh, just treat others as how you would like to be treated. But I find that life's path is a choice and everybody chooses the path that they have chosen. And so um, you can avoid turmoils, addictive behaviors or selfish behaviors. But that's life experience, and that deepens uh, your life experience. Sometimes we're, we, we experience things so we could relate to those who might be homeless, who might be hungry, who might have addictive behaviors. It's just really relating to others in that moment. And so, Yeah, this uh, being present, uh, being mindful, and I have learned that because there's times when I feel like saying something to them, like my opinion, <laughs> and then and I'm like, no, um, what is the right thing to do? Um, In that moment, yeah. Helpful. Yeah, right. And so, yeah, so that was pretty good. I really enjoyed that, Steve. It really just made me be spontaneous. And um, I did videotape it um, for my Thiktum Monk Facebook page. We'll do the, we'll do some chanting. And Happy New Year's to everyone, right? Yeah. So, chant, to, chant with us, the Heart Sutra.
Zazen, page 8 in the chant hymnal. Song of Zazen From the beginning all beings are Buddha Like water and ice without water No ice outsiders, no Buddhas How near the truth yet how far we seek Like one in water crying I thirst like the sun free and the fear struck fearless be may the grieving shed all grief and the sick find health relief I wish that all this merit be extended to everyone that we together with all beings making the Buddha's way Yeah, 
the daily confession. Daily confession. I respectfully bow to Shakyamuni Buddha Amida Buddha all Buddhas in the ten direction boundless Buddha Dharmas and the virtuous Sanghas I have lived many lives under heavy karmic obstacles desire anger pride illusion and ignorance today because of Buddha's teachings I know this as mistake therefore with sincere heart I confess I vow to eliminate evils and to do good I respectfully entreat the Buddhas for their compassionate assistance body without sickness mind empty of frustration and anxiety Every day happy to practice the wonderful teachings of the Buddha in order to quickly depart from birth and death, understand mind, seeing into its true nature, develop wisdom and gain the spiritual power in order to rescue all of my honor elders, fathers, mothers, brothers, sisters, friends, relatives, and may all living beings attain complete Buddhahood.